Hello everyone, my name is Pimpokal or JJ and I had a bit of time on my hands now that the Major is going and I figured why not do something for the community and uh, get in on the action on how to get the best performance in Dota 2 and for that I wanted to check what's the best render for it and one more thing because what's the best OS. There's been some talks about maybe Linux is the, the platform to game on for Dota 2. You know with Valve pushing Steam machines and stuff this might be a good idea but we're gonna get to the bottom of this and uh, we're gonna see which OS is the best and which render and all that good stuff. So, first of all, let's take a look into the benchmark scene I used. It is a very heavy fighting scene. We have a big Roshan team fight going on, lots of particles, lots of stuff being rendered, a ton of draw calls as well, but I didn't zoom out. I wanted to keep the experience as if you're playing the game yourself, so I am zoomed in all the way, because, I mean, let's, let's be frank here, most people care about the performance while playing the game and not so much spectating it. So it's about a uh, 40 seconds long demo file which I recorded and then used the time demo command in uh, the Source 2 engine to benchmark it, which gave me pretty good um, values. Of course, I did every benchmark five times for so every resolution, every render and every GPU. And uh, I got all my uh, my data this way. And this is, this is what it came down to. So first of all, I want to give a very warm shout out to the boys at NVIDIA because I didn't have an NVIDIA GPU and I know a lot of you guys have it. And uh, of course, I want to... I want to test how to uh, get the best performance in Dota, not only with an AMD card, but with an NVIDIA card as well. So speaking of which, let's take a look at the NVIDIA card. This is a GTX 1080, which they sent me. Um, and uh, we can, we have a, we get a really good idea of what this card is capable of, because let's face it, this is a gigantic performance uh, increase on, on Vulkan over any other API. We can see this is, these are the uh, normal APIs, DirectX 9 extension, the DX9 and OpenGL API, and they're kind of CPU limited here, right? Uh, of course, Vulkan being a next-gen API helps a lot with that, and that's where the CPU limitation comes into effect. So in general, Vulkan runs better uh, than any other API on Windows 10, on Ubuntu, of course, as well. Even though Ubuntu has really bad min FPS, it is definitely still playable, and um, on the NVIDIA card, DirectX 11 is the worst, and of course OpenGL on Ubuntu is really not that great. It's playable, but it's not great. Let's take a look at the AMD card. Once again, Vulkan is of course the best, uh, but DirectX 9 is right behind it, and that's uh, pretty interesting. And then the other APIs are doing pretty okay. DirectX 9 extension and DirectX 11 are doing fine. Vulkan on Linux is looking also pretty okay, but OpenGL is absolute garbage. I mean, that's... That's an open secret, right? AMD and OpenGL just doesn't work together, and it's awful. So that was 1080p. Let's take a look at 1440p. The first thing I want to I want to tackle is this gigantic number once again, because these are this uh, this is the same amount of frames which we just had on 1080p. So we are still CPU limited with Vulkan, just on 150 frames on 1440p. The GPU has so much power, uh, you know, the, the GTX 1080, it has so much power that it actually limits a 4.2 gigahertz overclocked 5A20K. Imagine that. And of course we have our values here for the NVIDIA card. Um, once again, Windows 10 is looking way better than any Ubuntu renderer. Uh, Vulkan on Ubuntu looks kind of okay because it has 130 min F um, average FPS but the min FPS is really not that great. So yeah, you still want to use Vulkan on, on Windows 10 uh, or any other Windows version really. And uh, then there is DirectX 9 also doing pretty okay. There is OpenGL. Once again, we see uh, OpenGL, DirectX 9 and the extension being pretty much in the same ballpark. Once again, CPU limited because these are the same values we had in 1080p. And for the AMD card, uh, DirectX 11 is doing pretty okay. Vulkan is right behind it. And uh, then there are the other APIs, especially, once again, OpenGL, right at the bottom, absolutely not playable. And uh, if, you, if you're if you gaming on 1440p, yes, you want to use DirectX 11, but I'm sure Valve is going to optimize Vulkan. Because uh, I mean, it's, it's, it shouldn't be like this. It, it, Vulkan should be better if it's optimized well. And I also did some 4K benchmarks. I don't game on the resolution, I game on 1440p, but of course a lot of people really appreciate um, benchmarks of 4K if they use a powerful GPU such as the GTX 1080. So, something interesting is happening here. Yes, DirectX 9 is the quote-unquote best, but once again, the min FPS are really bad, and you want to have high min FPS as well as good average ones. So, Windows 10 and Vulkan on the GTX 1080 is the way to go once again. Then there is all the other APIs, um, and interestingly enough, one thing I want to really tackle is Ubuntu is here, and OpenGL on Ubuntu is faster than Vulkan, so this looks like a 
you know, some sorts of um, issue with how optimized Vulkan is just now on these high resolutions, because we see the same thing once again on the AMD card. Vulkan is strictly worse than DirectX 11 on the Fury. So I'm not sure what this is about, but I'm sure Valve is going to fix it eventually. But for now, you kind of don't want to run into uh, into anything else than Vulkan on uh, 1080p and 1440p if you're running the NVIDIA card. So we saw that Vulkan is pretty damn amazing. How do I enable it? Well, you just go to the Dota 2 properties in Steam, tick the Vulkan support DLC. It doesn't cost anything. The same goes for OpenGL, by the way. And then it should just install. You use minus Vulkan on the launch options and get an uh, NVIDIA or AMD video driver update, which you can just click on this uh, Steam check for video driver update thing. That's it. That's how easy it is. And well, let's uh, let's see how this uh, actually goes. If you're running NVIDIA, you want to use Vulkan. If you're running AMD, you want to use Vulkan, except you're gaming in 4K, then you still want to use DirectX 11 until this is fixed. But I don't like Vulkan, or maybe my card doesn't actually support Vulkan. Well, there is still options for you. Uh, for NVIDIA, if you're using GL or DirectX 9 or D3, um, the DirectX 9 extension, it's pretty much the same. Uh, but you know, GL just works for the most time and it's pretty efficient. And then there is no D3D9EX, which is a pure DirectX 9 renderer path for AMD, which works on 1080p pr pretty well. Um, if you're running 1440p or 4K, you want to use minus DX11, but I know most of you guys are running in 1080p. And wait, hold on, what was that about Linux? Right, so this guy who made the video benchmark Ubuntu OpenGL on NVIDIA versus DirectX 11 on Windows 10, and we know DirectX 11 is actually the worst render path for NVIDIA, so no, Ubuntu is really not better than Windows 10. It is very clear that Windows 10 is the king, and if you want to game and get the best performance, you stay on Windows. So now that we got this out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. If there is any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below or ask me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash P-I-M-P-M-U-C-K-L. Um, and that should be about it. Please let others know about your performance, though. If you experience some performance hiccups or something, put it in the comment section. Not for me. It's, of course, a video I made for you guys, for the community. Um, but maybe, you know, someone has the same issues, or has the same experiences. And the more data we all together get, the better it is, of course. Uh, I only ran about 400 benchmarks. That's, I mean, that's kind of a lot. But there's nothing against, like, just playing for a thousand hours. And I'm sure you guys have some uh, experiences as well just running the game. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Any questions, let me know. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in a couple days in Frankfurt. Hopefully everyone is coming to ESL Frankfurt there. I'm going to do some mobsing there. I'm going to do some production magic. And um, I'm going to see you guys there. Bye, Pimpside.